All right, everybody, I'm back with another review, uh, so let's uh, get right into it. So when the Event Horizon, a spacecraft that vanished years earlier, suddenly reappears, a team is dispatched to investigate the ship. Accompanied by the Event Horizon's creator, William Ware, played by Sam Neill, and the crew... Wait. Oh. Oh, the sniper right? Okay. Alright, so uh, today I'm going to be reviewing, quote-unquote, the Event Horizon, which is a new sniper rifle for Rise of Iron. Um, let's take a quick look at it. So, when uh, the sniper nerf came, I was hurt physically because I couldn't kill supers reliably anymore with just one headshot because I don't have that black spindle and I don't have whatever that other gun was. So, let's take a look. Here we got... Uh, this is, by the way, the vendor roll, which is pretty sweet. I would recommend getting this if you don't have one, just to try it out. It's like 150 legendary marks. Comes with short gaze. Comes with spray and play or grenadier. Explosive rounds. Small bore. And hidden hand. Like, that's a pretty sweet roll. Most people seem to like uh, short gaze. But look at this impact. And look at that range. This gun's pretty sweet. Let's compare it to... Uh, well, let's compare it to the Her Fury. So the impact, much higher. Rate of fire is a little bit slower. Magazine size only three, but you know with that impact and that range, if you want to be killing supers, you got to be having a gun that can pack this type of impact. So uh, yeah, let's just send it right now and see if we can get any sweet, sweet super kills. Oh, the anomaly, the best sniping map out there. All right, this should be uh, interesting <laughs> to demonstrate the uh, Event Horizon's sniping capability on a map that's mostly uh, pretty small and, well, there's a couple corridors I can snipe down. So let's see what happens. You're in the oh. lead. Alright, off to a great start, I would say. Oof. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. What am I stuck on there? What? So the main uh, sell factor of this gun is that it's a very high impact. If you want to be taking down supers or even perhaps some people with a body shot, if you're playing like a level based game, very possible. Normal body shots are doing 181 damage to people. So it's very reasonable to assume if you're a couple of levels above, or at, you know, maybe 20 levels above, you'll be getting those kills. See, 452 on a headshot, and that hidden hand, you can't say that hidden hand didn't play a part in that kill. Both of those kills. That was nowhere even close to those heads. If you can get a snapshot on this gun, ooh, you'll be doing some work on people. Ooh, we got a couple snipers. See, 181 on a body shot. Unfortunately, his no land is superior in the head seeking abilities. And now I'm out of sniper ammo, so let's play around a little bit for a minute until I can uh, get some more ammo. Alright, time to reload, get back to work. Hoping I get to see some uh, some roaming supers and can show what it can do. So far, I haven't 
haven't come across any supers that would live a headshot from this gun except for uh, a Titan Slam with uh, Unstoppable on because uh, that even stops a golden gun, apparently. So uh, I would assume that this sniper rifle that does considerably less damage would also not be able to stop that. Oh, I missed. All right, there was a uh, an arc blade kill. I might have to say that hidden hand might have played a role in that kill as well. Oh, you know, <laughs> for a map that I would say isn't traditionally sniper friendly, there's a lot of snipers out right now, and I am losing a lot of those battles. Oh. Let's get this guy. Oh, there he is. Uh oh. Heavy ammo I was the only one that got hit by that, of course. <laughs> oh, okay, so we got a rocket man after us. Let's uh hopefully get him before he can see us. Oh. Oh. I'm getting killed by all kinds of snipers. See, if you're actually good at sniping, then this gun would definitely do some work. Unfortunately, it only has a three round clip, so you're not going to be getting those breakers or anything like that unless you can line up two people. But if you're just trying to find a solid gun to take down some supers and do some heavy hits, I would definitely recommend this gun. And like I said, this vendor roll even is solid as a rock. Hidden hand and short gaze on a vendor roll with a high impact. Oof. Man, I cannot win any of my sniper fights right now. I'm hoping this guy uses his super right now. Someone's gonna be catching me hard scoping right now. Come on, dude. Oh, too slow. You're almost there. Five oh. minutes remaining. Oh, I totally. Where are these people coming from? Okay, I just heard some tongs. Hopefully, he comes out this way. I don't even know if it was uh, our team or not. Another battle won. All right, not too bad. Got some some snipes in there. All right, fourteen and seven, not too bad. Uh, they weren't all snipes, obviously, but a pretty pretty solid demonstration, I think, of what this gun can do. Obviously, in the hands of a really skilled sniper, they're going to be doing even better. Um, if you're looking for a nice sniper to jump into because you haven't been sniping in a little while, I would say pick this one up. It's not too bad. All right, so I think that uh, demonstrated pretty well what this gun can do. Um, so if you want, you can know, talk to Shax, turn in some some crucible level up maybe get your own nice little roll going on but if you're just looking for a really basic solid gun and you want to try the sniping out again because maybe it got nerfed a little hard and you stayed away from it i would say uh pick up this gun as event horizon 150 legendary marks super solid i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 sam neils all right uh so that's it for now i think maybe next time i might do um Maybe another primer. I got a couple hopscotch pilgrims that I think it might be pretty cool. And uh, maybe a fusion rifle, because that's pretty cool too. Alright, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later.